Corey's Car Channel, and I purchased me a 2004 V8 4Runner 4x4, 244,000 miles on it, and she runs like a champ. So, this is what it sounds like right now. I'm taking it to get the exhaust done on it, and I'm also going to go pick up my Corvette. So, I'm going to ride over to my buddy's shop, Oleander Muffler, Fort Pierce. So, and we'll test it out, see how it sounds. Also, it came with a touchscreen Bluetooth radio. And it had the JBL sound package, but the speakers don't sound all that great. I'm averaging 18 miles a gallon-ish. It's more like 17. Um, I did the calculations already. I'm running the KO2s, 265, 65, 17s. I like them on the F250, so they should do great on the 4Runner. Got the cloth interior, so it's nothing crazy. You know, um, sport edition. But it does have the four time. And it's got the rear window switch and the center lock diff. I just had to drop something off at my buddy Ken's house. Dropped off his uh, tri ball hitch. And it came with like this weird window tint that covered half the frickin' windshield. I haven't had the time to take the rest of this off yet, but I'm gonna take it off here, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it does have a cracked dash, hence the dash pad, but I don't care about that stuff. Um, another problem I am having with this is the uh, VSC uh, track and VSC off light is on. And then sometimes, every now and then, I get the ABS light with a really loud, annoying beep. And it lasts for about a minute, and then it goes away. But AC works. Everything works. The truck drives, rides great. 54 Carfax maintenance records. So, I'm using it to drive back and forth to work and pull the boat and my cars. I haven't gotten a new trailer yet. So I will be uh, probably getting a car trailer here soon once I do some sneaky stuff that you guys don't know about yet. <laughs> but pulling into Oleander Muffler, I'll be nice. Won't let him work on a freaking wet car. I was going to drive through the mud, but hit them up. Oleander Mufflers. 772-595-0206. You guys are slammed because they're good. <laughs> Someone lost the muffler. I just had him delete the muffler and had him the third. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Alright, all I did was do the third cat delete and the MagnaFlow muffler. Kept the stock resonator and the tip. It actually sounds pretty good. So it still sounds stock when you're just cruising. It doesn't sound like you have a muffler on it at all. It only gets louder when you hit the gas. So if you're just cruising along, it sounds fine. You don't even know it's there. It's pretty cool. And then when you get on it, it gets a little sport tune exhaust. I'm probably going to change the tip out anyways just because I want it to look nicer. Not necessarily be loud or whatever, but I think it sounds good.
sounds more like a truck now. <laughs> All right, V8 4Runner cold start. at all I'm definitely have to change out that resonator and tip so I'm not really happy with the cold start sound with the resonator and the tip uh, I think it could be a little bit more throaty a little bit just a little bit more aggressive on startup as like I'm saying I'm not trying to make like a freaking race car forerunner I just want it to sound nice and clean which it doesn't sound bad. It definitely sounds a little better than stock. And the MagnaFlow uh, is gonna break in and get a little bit louder, but not really enough to notice. And I used to be the kind of guy that would just straight pipe everything, delete all the cats, throw it in the garage, and send it on its way. But, I mean, I still have a light, nice sound to this. I just want a little bit more. So I'm going to delete the re resonator and put a different tip on it. Hopefully it'll get a nice, cleaner, uh, cold start sound instead of like that almost stock muffled V8. So I'll post another video when I have everything complete. 